Hello everyone, welcome to Pinot Ratinam Tutorials. It's been a long time, I didn't post any videos for EFT. Sorry for the big gap. From now, we are going to learn all the advanced EFT topics using the version 14. These are all the basics topics which we already completed. We have worked in 12.52 version till previous exercise. Then object identification mechanism for description and ordinal identifier is completed still we have a smart identification then how to create the object repository and what are all the mechanism available for synchronization and how to work with uh, actions and uh, multiple actions finally how to include the report events you may think what is the use of learning about the versions in any interview the first question will be what is the uft versions you have used and also they want to know what are all the added or updated features available in the latest version. So that is a one reason I am once again giving an introduction about the UFT for the version 14. The present version is for GUI and API testing. GUI means graphical user interface testing which you know very well. In addition to that it supports for API application programming interface that is a service testing it added few more testing areas like REST web services JMS and HTTP in addition to that it is an integrated testing till the previous version we have used to create a separate action for GUI testing and API testing but in this version in single test or an action you can call from your GUI test to API test and vice versa also possible and also integration with ALM is possible and the fourth one is business process testing BPT provides you with a customizable and a component testing framework if your project is working towards a BPT testing means we have a separate study material in the help you just glance that once and finally we can execute our test cases from the cloud for example amazon web services we have few more newly added features as mentioned here one great thing for us is now we have 60 days trial period so in just one installation we can complete our uft training if we plan perfectly let us look into some of the important feature you must know it for interview purpose test combination generator for GUI test. Let us consider a scenario where you want to execute a test cases for multiple data combination. That is, you have to travel from one station to another station. But you have more than 50 stations in the web list. To prepare the data for this particular combination will be a bit tough. So EFT came up with a tool called test combination generator. Using this tool, it is easy for us to automatically generate our data combination for your global data table. You can see your global data table under the data pane. We have to generate the data between from and to city. For this, we use this particular data generator. Just navigate to that particular data generator. Click on this particular icon, test combination generator. You will get the test combination generator window. In this, you have to type the from and to city. And you can select that particular value as an happy path data or error path. That is for the either you are going to use for the positive scenario or for the negative scenario that also you can define line by line once this particular value is been set here i am trying to find for three combination so we should get nine rows of data click on view combination you will can able to see that permutation for our particular requirement the data has been generated now you can understand it is just a three rows but if you want to test your scenarios for uh, more than 50 stations or 100 stations, at, at that time this test combination generator will be more useful. UFT integration with Microsoft TFS CI system. 
TFS means Team Foundation Server, CI means Continuous Integration. These are all the terms which you will understand while you work on the DevOps project, where continuous integration and continuous testing plays a major role. After each updated build and deployment, we have to execute our automation test script. Using this add-in, we can trigger the test scripts either locally or from ALM. Mostly in many DevOps projects, continuous testing will be done either with the help of Selenium or EFT. It can also be used to prepare the testing environment before running the test sets. The present version has been redesigned for record and run setting dialog boxes. They made it more easier and came up with a new configuration setting. So if you want to use a record and playback method, you can use it for Java, SAP, Windows application, mobile and web. So they made it a very easier way to configure as per our requirement. And the present version supports the latest versions of uh, Firefox and Chrome. In addition to that, it supports for a um, few more new technologies as displayed here. And finally, they made it UFT help as online. Before and all, we, if you want to study about UFT, we have to install that particular version. And after installation only, we can able to open the help. Now they made it as an online. So if someone want to know about this tool without any installation, you can use this particular URL. With this URL itself, you can study about the UFT. Even I use this particular uh, URL for reference. That's the end of today's session. In case of any clarification, please post your query. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.